Welcome to Manitic Stringworks. Remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more video content. This time on the workbench, we have this Breed Love 12 string acoustic guitar. Very pretty, very nice looking. It's a premier 12 string made in Bend, Oregon, made in the USA. Sitka spruce top. Rosewood sides and back. It's like a mahogany neck under here. Yep. Uh, I'm not sure if that's ebony, but it's a dark wood. Nice little fret markers, too. I like the positioning when they're higher up here like that. You actually see them better <laughs> when you're playing. Makes sense. There's a headstock with, of course, lots of tuning machines. There you go. Nice guitar. So, what's wrong with it? Or, what am I supposed to be doing to it? Well, the owner brought it in because the six string, so the harmonic and six string, they rattle and buzz. Especially when you're on the upstroke. And they go pretty hard. The other strings don't do that. So, what is the issue? Hmm. Well, let's have a look. So what do you do if your acoustic guitar is rattling like that? Well, you gotta sort of eliminate issues. So the first thing I would look at would be the bridge and the bridge pins. But, of course, we don't have bridge pins here. It's a top loader here, right? You can see it goes through the bridge, which I like. It eliminates the pins, which sometimes are problematic. Uh, it's nice and straight through. As long as you have a good break angle, then no issue with that. So I would look there, but I don't think that's going to be the issue. Then we'd look at the saddle itself to see if we're seated properly, nothing's moving around, what's the spacing like. Uh, I'd check the neck relief would be one of the things I'd look at and the action, so let's have a look at that. All right, let's have a look at the neck relief. So we're gonna capo first fret, and we're gonna start with a 10 thousandths feeler gauge. So hold down around the you know neck and body joint here. Yeah, there's not much relief. Now, a decent acoustic guitar can handle a low relief. This is eight thousandths. I'd like to just do the normal string. Yeah, so that's pretty good. I mean, it's right around eight thousandths, I would say. And if we look at the action, it's pretty low to me. So at the twelfth fret, let's have a look. Five sixty-four would be, you know, pretty good. Yeah, it's right around there. If I do the 664 side of my gauge, you can hear it scraping. So I'd say it's about, you know, it's just under 664, which is very acceptable. And we have a low neck relief already, so I wouldn't touch that. So the uh, action at the first fret, so it's easy to, you know, if you push down on the third fret and then just press the string at the first fret. If you don't have a lot of bounce, a lot of play, then it, the action is pretty good. That feels nice. Let's have a look. Again, I'm just going to do not the octave string. Try and get my fingers in there. <laughs> so that's an 18 thousandths feeler gauge. Oop, get in the shot. 
Yeah, that's pretty, it's pretty low. Yeah, so, you know, the nut action is nice, but is that the problem? Hmm, I don't think so. And if we strum the note again, I'm not hearing that noise from up here, or anywhere along here, and just get your ear really close to it, you know? <laughs> get down there. I'm actually hearing that rattling further up the fretboard, more towards the sound hole. All right, so the last thing I'm going to check is to see if there's anything inside the guitar. A loose brace, a wire, because this does have a pickup, piezo pickup in the bridge. So I'll use a mirror. Let's see if I can get in there. To sort of have a poke around. Turn the light on. Oh, look, got a light. <laughs> a little more. I'll have a little poke around and see if there's anything out of sorts here. Hmm. Nothing jumps out at me, and I don't really feel like it's a rattle from inside. Let's see if you can see a little bit in there. There we go. These little mirrors are great. <laughs> you saw the camera there. They really do work well. Alright, so one piece of the puzzle that I haven't divulged yet <laughs> is that the owner has tuned this in C-sharp open tuning. So that's down one and a half steps from regular standard tuning. And I have a suspicion that that tuning is just too slack for this six string and it's really you know, it's really flopping around and it's hitting the octave string. That sound's coming right from here. Also, if I, let's see, if I strum each string individually, so here's the sixth string. I'm going to dampen this one. See, there's no, no noise. Let's do the octave. Same thing. If I do both of them, there we go. So I suspect that the sixth string is just too floppy. It needs more tension. This guitar is a 12 string. It's built to have more tension. And I just think that's not enough tension. I'm hoping that's the case. So, you know what? Let's tune this thing up to pitch and see what happens. Of course, this is where the fun starts with a 12 string, right? <laughs> Tuning it up to pitch. So. The way I normally do it is I just, I get all the regular strings, if you will, right, tuned, and then you can bring the octave strings uh, up to pitch at the same time. So, here we go. I won't bore you with all that, but let's just uh, run through the sixth string. <laughs> Well, wouldn't you know it, the G string broke <laughs> as I was tuning it. Not surprised. This, this string is actually really bent. And there's all kinds of fret wear right on each spot, so I think it was ready to go. Now I'm worried about the other ones because <laughs> I didn't do the B or the E yet. All right, well, we'll replace this and uh, hopefully we don't break any more. Here's something I noticed uh, that was bugging me. <laughs> is on the A string, you'll see the, you know, the octave string. The ball end isn't nicely positioned like the other ones. I thought, hmm, I mean, that's not doing anything to the sound. It just looks odd. <laughs> so I think I'll loosen that string off. All right, so I've got the tension pretty much right off. Oop. Hmm. Let's see. Just using this little poker stick. <laughs> I don't want to catch the finish. All right. Just want to get it. Feels like the string's a little twisted. 
right, so that's better. <laughs> Actually, I have to take some pliers and get in there like this. Give it a little squeeze. Yeah, that just looks nicer. So I have to get that replacement string now. All right, so I put a new string, new uh, G string on. <laughs> Everything's tuned up. Let's see if this first uh, set of strings, well, the sixth string. So this uh, Breedlove guitar comes with its own truss rod tool. It's like a four millimeter, uh, but extended long wrench. A nice little wooden handle because it's way back in the heel actually. So you have to get in here. And of course you always make sure you're lined up nicely and it catches. Come on. There we go. And I gave it a little tweak. That's about as far as I can go without loosening the strings off. So I think we're going to let that sit. I'll check it in a little while. Well, here we are the next day, and the guitar has been sitting overnight. I put a capo here on the first fret, and let's check and see where our neck relief is. End it up. So I'm using a 10 thousandths feeler gauge. It's just barely touching it, so that's that's nice. So that's good. I like that neck relief. And I think we'll just have a quick look at the string action. Yeah, we're touching six, so we're right around that five and a half, six thousandths. If you really strum hard, you might get some rattle, <laughs> but you know, normal playing with a plectrum, a pick. I think a little adjustment with the truss rod that they supplied, which is awesome. A lot of guitar manufacturers don't include truss rods with their acoustic guitars and electric guitars. Everyone should. Like, why would you buy a guitar that doesn't have the tool that's required to adjust it, you know, for regular maintenance? You know, what does this cost? Ten bucks? <laughs> $20, you know, at the most. So, especially when you're buying an expensive guitar. Anyways, that's my little rant on truss rods. So, I think we're done with this nice breed love. Pretty guitar. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Ciao.